The saying, it's never too late, definitely applies to two gentlemen who've discovered a talent for painting long after retirement. Menorah Park resident Danny Solomon and Stone Gardens resident High Snelk are putting paint to canvas for themselves and for others to enjoy. Danny's niece Karen, also Karen Wyman, is here along with Hi and Danny to paint a picture of these talented artists who are 90 years young. Thanks all for joining us today. Appreciate that. All right, so Karen, let's start with you. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, Danny's story? And I understand he didn't really start painting until he was 70? That's that right. That was the beginning. Except he was always drawing. He created these beautiful handmade greeting cards, um, love letters for his wife, but he didn't ever really think of himself as an artist. <laughs> but he inspired so many of us, including myself, to pursue careers in the arts. But on his 70th birthday, his daughters, Fran Mesnick and Sharon Baldoni, gave him the tools that really enabled him to paint. Wow. Canvas, easels, brushes, and he started painting and has been painting for the last 20 years these marvelous canvases. Does he have special subjects that you you know that he likes to paint? Well, he enjoys painting landscapes, um, interior scenes, animals, portraits. Um, he's completely self-taught and has this wonderful sense of composition, color, and design. These paintings we're putting up on the TV screen, these were done by him. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Marvelous. Aren't they? Not bad. What am I painting? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and as you can see, he looked at uh, major painters such as Degas and Renoir, mm -hmm. and like other many, you know, other artists, he usually painted from photographs. And he has a terrific sense of humor. Um, one whimsical painting that's called "The Thief" mm -hmm. um, is one of his favorites. That's my uh, painting. That's your that's painting. It. That's it. And so uh, uh, he's going to have an exhibit. Yes. yes. Tell me about that. He's 92, he'll be 93 on January 22nd. Okay. And he, we're thrilled that his dream and the family's dream is finally coming true to really share his passion for painting with others. And so right now through January 29th, he'll have a solo exhibition at the Beechwood Community Center. That's wonderful, so that's really wonderful. It now, is. hi, yeah. some of your work is currently displayed at the O Gallery at Laplace in Beechwood. Yes. And at Waterloo 7 in Cleveland. Yes. Right? Yeah. And you might be able to give Daniel some advice on how to handle his newfound fame. Painting came light, late in life to you, and you started in sculpture, right? Yes. Uh, tell us about the sculpture. Well, uh, I always liked using my hands, and, I, and when I, uh, I, I, uh, I, was, I used to go to Washington Square and sell my work, and I got involved in metal because a friend of mine had an engraving shop. So he used to cut shapes out uh, with a bandsaw and mm -hmm. weld them. And you're amazed how many different uh, things you can do. And it's not monotonous. As a matter of fact... Uh, and you, you got into painting then also, right? Well, I started, I was painting when I was younger, but then I gave it up for the sculpture. I see. But I went back to painting again now that I can see, and i uh, painting, and I'm doing abstracts. And at Stone Gardens, they, they actually have a studio for you there? They have a wonderful studio. That's there. great. Not for me only, they, for their residents. Can you give any advice to our viewers um, about creative aging, how to keep going and doing something new like you've done? I think it's got to be in you. I don't think your advice is going to help you. Uh, you know, everybody uh, says, gee, I always wanted to do this, and they don't. They just talk about it. If you want to do it, just do it. And, and I don't understand even you worry about how good or bad it is, you know. And I understand you feel that humor is an important part of going on. Oh, absolutely. Good. Kidding around makes life easier and friendlier. Well, and I just want to thank you all for coming in sharing this. This is so inspirational for our viewers. You know, it's easy to draw the conclusion that for these two painters, art from the heart. To find out where you can see their work on display, and you should. Call the number that's coming up next. To sketch the details about Daniel Solomon's exhibit, call Menorah Park at 216-831-6500 or visit their website, www.menorahpark.org. It's time to get up and go.